In this video, we are going to create an amazing shattered glass photo effect using Photoshop CC 2017. There are lots of little particles, small particles and big particles included in this effect. It will be super fun, so let's jump in Photoshop. Welcome back everyone, my name is Adnan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and today we are going to create an amazing photo effect which is called Shattered Glass. There are lots of particles in that and uh, before we start, make sure that if you didn't subscribe my channel, just go to my channel and click on subscribe to get every single update of my videos. All of these things are free of cost, we will use actions in this tutorial so you can download these actions, link is given in the description bar, if the link is not. Uh, under the de description bar you can simply just comment and tell me that there is no link in that description because sometimes I forget to add links uh, in description bar so just a comment and I will simply just add your uh, link into that so you could get easily your uh, use these uh, photos and if you want to download these actions you can easily download them from the link so and sorry for tomorrow because uh, uh, my viva was conducted today and that's why I was in busy for preparation of my viva uh, it's a, just a simple test so that's why I'm a little busy in that uh, because my project is uh, going to start soon so I think only one test there are two test phases including in our project so one test phase is cleared and now it's the second test phase before that there is uh, the first step was uh, SRS documentation and then after that design documentation and then test phase one which is cleared and I have step I have cleared three steps and only two step steps are left one is test phase two and uh, fifth is uh, test phase oh, sorry it's a final deliberation so but <laughs> why I'm discussing here okay sorry let's just start our work uh, this is a simple image and creating a brush uh, I mean to say creating a hard selection around it and run these actions and we'll create a little edgy uh, we can say that uh, particles these are glass particles you can see easily zoom it in these are not uh, like uh, blurred particles these are really actual high definition particles because the more you zoom in the more you will get the detail so before you use these actions let me just tell you one thing only on one thing which is that try to use different kind of styles different kind of actions or uh, if you want to use different kind of actions, just try to use a high definition image because a high definition image have a lots of detail in, in it so when you run these actions and the final result will be amazing when you use low resolution image it will not give you an actual result because the lower resolution image size actually have some blurness in that image so that's why it looks a bit weird but it not look so cool so that's why I'm, I always say try to use a high definition image more than uh, 1600 at least 1600 pixels an image should be and if you are using 2k or 4k all amazing so this is the effect let's just move to the next image this is a simple image creating a heart selection around it <coughs> sorry for that and shattered glass and we have this effect so we have uh, a lots of texture in it there are one two there are seven texture including in this seven pattern seven style we can say that so you can run each and every uh, action on on these textures so every time the result will be different according to that pattern so let's just move to the next image so this is a simple image getting a selection around it and when, when we will run this it will look like this amazing result and it looks a pretty much realistic because it gives some reflection into these uh, uh, I, I mean to say that in these particles so it's amazing and bit amazing I like this thing and let's just move to the next image this is a simple image getting a selection around it or run these actions and you will see that it has created a another shattered style so every time you run actions try to use different patterns if you are using some hurdles or i mean to say if you are getting some errors don't be worried about that just try it again it will be work fine so in this tutorial i may we may have caught some problems so if a problem is detected we will easily uh, get over it so it could be easy to understand you if you are using these type of problems so move to the next image today we will use this image and uh, creating a selection around it 
run these actions that will look like this amazing effect you can see that this uh, big particle okay so this is a simple image after that the result is look like this so i have just created some adjustment layers and some color, color actions and it look like a bit different but not so bad it looked like amazing so i think we should just use this image for today's tutorial because it looks more amazing so what we will do is we will simply just close all of these images so we don't need to do uh, we don't need that so close this one too and this one too is already saved so uh, okay so we will delete that and delete that too okay so this is simple image you can see that we have a simple image there is no locked layer we will start roughly from here as you started in your videos or we can stay in your uh, uh, interface or in Photoshop so simply I have just a image this image is pretty much high definition and uh, we will simply first the first step is we will create a selection around this character so we will use a quick selection tool and create a selection around this character rough selection not don't be worried about that it is just an initial step stage so it's not important you create absolute selection around it so once you have created an initial selection after that we will create a ops absolute selection so the initial selection is done very nicely very good okay and uh, let's just add this to our selection so it could be look more amazing we are trying to add some fingers in it so which are not in, in our selection like this that's so cool a little bit of nose and this type of detail is most important in our selections so the rough selection is pretty much created nicely so we'll add some of the hairs in it so we want some detail in it okay so that's nice now what else we will simply just add little small things are pretty much nicely selected sorry about the traffic because I ju I'm just tense about this traffic okay so this is a creative selection ar around this our character so we'll create a new layer or before doing this uh, uh, work on this new layer we will simply just click click on this layer mask thumbnail and we'll simply erase this background and create a layer mask thumbnail on it so we'll right click on it and click on select and mask okay so the main step is done now what we'll do is we'll simply just remove this uh, background so remove it okay so this is done simple and uh, new layer with layer mask decontamination color if you want to use I, I, I suggest don't use this and we'll try to check shift edge I don't think so we don't we need to use that a little bit maybe so minus 5 new clear with layer mask with uncheck of uh, decontamination color and click on okay so it will create another layer now what we'll do is we'll pick up our brush tool change the foreground color as black opacity is 100% flow is 100% small the brush and brush over the area which is hidden creating this little uh, removal of background so simple don't worry about that don't need 
to add all of the detail just a little bit which could, which could look more interesting to your image like this okay that's cool so I think the it is done very nicely that's like a good boy and then create some selection around this so we could get some detail okay so Okay, that's nice. So the uh, initial selection is created. So we'll simply just click and drag on it and click on apply. Now we'll create a new layer above it and press control and click and we'll create a selection around our character. Now we'll simply press control, uh, sorry, alt and press backspace and press control D. And then we'll simply just click on this uh, layer mask, click and only delete that. Now turn on this background, we press control, shift and Press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and E, sorry, uh, press Ctrl, Shift and Ctrl, E, so it will merge them into a single layer. Now what we will do is, we will simply just go to uh, layer, new background with this layer. So it will create a name of background and lock this layer. And set it as a background layer and now we will name this as a brush. The name should be in cap, uh, sorry, it's uh, lowercase, so B R U S H brush and in lowercase. Now time to load our actions. So what we will do is. If you didn't see this icon here, just go to Windows and click on Actions. So I already loaded, loaded this, so don't worry about that. There are lots of settings. So click on this icon and go to Load Actions. So from that Load Actions, you just simply just click on when you will download your file. There will be two fi fold, uh, files. One is folder and one file. The file is Shattered Glass Action file and second is Texture folder. So there are seven texture files in it you cannot see that from here so just simply click on shutter glass uh, action file and click on load as i already loaded this so i don't need to click on that so on the next step we will simply just click and drag it down and you will see that there are lots of set steps in here it will not take a lot of time it will just take a little time so before we start anything else we will go to edit purge and all click on ok it's a simple trick and uh, what it will do is it will simply just remove your photoshop history so you for your photoshop action file will be work very fine and will not create hurdles using this action file so it is done now we'll simply just click on play and wait for the process to complete the next step okay so when we will press this play button it will open a folder in which or if you didn't see this you will uh, you will see this one and you simply just click on this texture folder and there are seven texture file check which is uh, better for these actions so uh, as you say as you can see as you can see that we should use this action file or this action file this it, it will work very fine all of these texture files are fixed for this so you can use any of them let's just go with the uh, which image we should choose uh, which action file I mean to say that we should use so I think we should just use uh, maybe this one is much better so click on second one and click on place okay so now you can resize size it down and size it up a uh, small or big size it all depends on your choice so we'll size it up like this and when you can when you click on this check mark it will uh, uh, start the main action work so it will take a little time to complete the process so wait for the process to complete its work Okay, so the process is completed just close this action file uh, action panel and you will see that there is a shutter glass effect on our image 
so you can edit this and if you don't like this you just simply click on delete that turn on this layer simply just go to this action file click on play button it will open folder again this time you can change the style like you can change it to maybe it look nice using these actions or this texture file click on place when you will place this just click on flip vertical or flip horizontal it all depends on your choice so I think we can use this side as well make it a little bigger so it could fi uh, fix with your size so click on this uh, check mark and simply just to run this action it will not not take a lot of time simple just maybe in just seconds and that's it this is the result of our action file so what you can edit in this in this file so you can edit uh, approximate everything so let's just check what we can edit this is the glass this is the main effect so we'll open this folder close this folder and open this folder you can turn on and turn off the glow of this glass this type of glows and uh, you can turn on the whiteness on our glass so you can even turn on the inside color you can see that now the main thing is that there is no reflection of our image so simply just go down and you will see that there are lots of uh, layers in it like this one this is the reflection so we'll simply just select this layer and press ctrl t size it up and rotate it it will actually create a nice cell, uh, reflection on our image like this so click on check mark and this is our reflection glass with frosted some you can see that some color so this is the all editing things like you can turn on these glasses and this effect of our layer so this is the final effect you can create using our action file and what else you can simply just create a, a some custom color corrections like this uh, uh, levels and just click on blues turn on this blue red turn on this red and it will look like amazing so this is the amazing effect i hope you like this tutorial if you didn't subscribe my channel again i just go to my channel click on subscribe and click on this bell button click on the bell button so you could get every notification about my new videos and uh, i hope you like this one downloading link is given in the description bar you can free download that and uh, click on ads because i really like who people click on ads so if you are seeing ads on my videos just click on that it will simply just help me a lot and uh, subscribe our channel this is the main thing and uh, share it to your friends uh, as much as you can we will meet in our next video and never stop and keep learning